In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make vertical video, that is, video shot on a cell phone in portrait mode, look better on YouTube. Open CapCut and tap on the plus sign to start a new video project. If you add vertical video, like this clip here, you can format it into a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but it doesn't look that good if that's all you're going to do. The first thing I usually do is swipe over and tap on format. And then I choose the format for YouTube, which is 16 by 9. However, notice that this adjusts the video into the 16 by 9 aspect ratio but it doesn't look good. You can see the black bars on either side of the video. The video is smaller and harder to see. You can zoom the video in. If you tap on canvas, you can add a blur. You can also add a color or a background pattern behind your vertical video. This would fill in the 16 by nine space and make your video look okay, but not great. That's what the blur looks like. I'm going to remove the blur and tap on the check mark. You can make your videos look even better by using overlays. Tap the plus sign to add another clip. This clip is going to be a photo that's going to sit behind the vertical video clip. Tap on Photos and select your background photo. If you don't have one, you can make one. If you'd like a video on how to make a background photos like this, leave a comment below and I'll make it. Now we've got the photo and the main video clip. Here's how to turn a main video clip into an overlay. Select the main clip that you want to turn into an overlay. Swipe over and you'll see an option in the main toolbar that says Overlay. If you tap on it, you'll notice that the selected clip immediately becomes an overlay and is placed at the location of the playhead. To move your overlay so that it appears over top of the photo that you just added, long press on it and drag it back to the beginning of the video. The next thing you need to do is select your photo and drag it out to the end of your vertical video clip so that both clips line up properly. The default duration for any photo added to a project is three seconds, but as you can see, that's not long enough to achieve the effect that we're looking for. Just long press on the end of the photo and drag it out to the end of the video clip to make the two clips line up properly. If you go a little bit past it like this, don't worry, you can adjust the clip back to the end so that both clips line up properly. If you have trouble lining up your clips, keep watching the video and I'll show you an easy solution that you can use to make sure that all the clips you add line up properly at the beginning and end of your video once you've added them. You can make professional looking videos with your phone or iPad using CapCut by using multiple overlays. This is what the video looks like right now. However, I can make it look better by adding another overlay. You can add PNG images to your videos to make them look better. For example, I'm going to add a PNG image of an iPhone frame that's just a photo. A PNG image is an image that has a transparent background. Make sure that if you do this, you download a PNG image, or this might not work properly. When you've added your second overlay, the phone frame, into your project, it will appear in the third video track underneath the background photo. The next thing you need to do is select the photo and drag it out so that it lines up with the other two clips, just like before. If you go past the end, don't worry, because you can either trim the clip or I'll give you a workaround you can use 
to combine all your layers into one video and then you can delete the end of the clip where the clips don't line up properly. When you're placing the phone frame over top of your screen recording, there should be no gaps in between the edge of the phone frame and the edge of the screen recording. You want to make sure that you don't see the corners either. You have to place the phone frame on top of the screen recording and not the other way around because of the notch. Here you can see I've gone a little bit past the end of my clips and they don't look quite right. Instead of trimming the clip like I did before, I'll just export the video as it is now into another project. Tap on the export icon to begin the export. Don't lock your screen or close CapCut while this is happening because if you do, the export will fail and you'll have to repeat it. Once the export is complete, you can open up a new project and add the exported video. This will allow you to scrub quickly to the end and remove the portion of the video that does not look quite right. Let's do that now. Tap on done. Tap the plus sign to open a new project and add the video clip that you just exported. Notice it contains all three layers, a background photo, the phone frame, and the screen recording. Scrub quickly to the end like this. Once you reach the end, you'll notice that you have to delete the default end screen. Tap on that and hit the trash can to delete it. Now you'll notice that the clips don't line up here. So the trick now is to bring your playhead back to a point in the video where you can see your screen recording, your background photo, and the phone frame on screen at the same time. Tap your clip to select it. The split icon will appear. Tap split then swipe over and tap on the trash can to delete the part of that clip. Move your playhead back a little bit and play the video to the end. You'll notice that you can see all three items on the screen throughout the video. Now that your video is fixed, just export it one more time.